Yo, what's going on, guys? We're hearing the Pelicans are going to be trading Kyra Lewis Jr. this offseason, and he's just a guy who has had a bad luck of injuries. And this is coming from Mark Stein of the Stein Line Substack. He's got a great Substack if you're not subscribed, but they're likely to trade him that Lewis has replaced Jonas Valanciunas as the most likely player to be traded from the Pelicans as they explored Valanciunas deals, but couldn't find them. And Lewis is a more popular name. Now, if you guys haven't followed Kyra Lewis Jr., he's a guy who came out of Alabama. He was actually like the youngest prospect in his draft class. He's just turned 22, like literally just turned 22 in April. And he came out in 2020. So he's been in the NBA going now into his fourth season. He, you know, he didn't play much his rookie season, then he tore his ACL 24 games into his second season. And he came out this year and shot the ball really well, but like basically played nine minutes a night. Like his per 36 and per 100 possession numbers are like great. But he's a guy that when you look at it, we don't know what he truly is because he hasn't played. And it's not his fault that like injuries and like the Pelicans timeline drastically changed from when he was drafted to when he was you know where he is now because this is a guy who was also the 13th pick like this is a lottery pick this isn't a guy who was draft pick 24 no like this is a guy who was draft pick 13 in 2020 like had good upside and that's the sad part like we not sad part but where you want to be hopeful because he was a guy that I had his top 15 prospect in the draft class. Like I on he was a guy deserving of being a lottery pick. Like I thought he was better than RJ Hampton. Okay. And I had him behind Dev Massell. Like I thought he was a guy who would develop into a potential starter. Like he had two years of college experience. And so for me, the speed he had, and like he still has the ability to create a separation, even through the injury. And we just haven't been able to see like what type of finisher he is. He's showing that, like, yeah, he's never going to be an elite finisher, but, you know, has that floater game build up? Is he able to accept content? Like, I think there, this is a guy who, you know, can be a decent help defender. He, look, like, he, he needs to get up to, like, 190 pounds, and hopefully he's there. But he, coming into it, he's one of the fastest guys in his draft class. Like, he's got speed, and he's a willing defender. So, whoever gets him, I don't know who it's going to be. If I'm the Washington Wizards, I'd be calling him up. Yeah, he's going into his fourth season, so you'd only be getting him for a year. But throw out a second-round pick, guys, you get a, you, you could probably you get him a restricted free agency. See?